If you want to make your vocals from sounding like this to sound like this on Adobe Audition, then you are here at the right destination. Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Sound plays a very important role in attracting the audience as well as conveying the message. So it becomes very important that the sound that has been recorded is rightly processed. So in this video, I'll be telling you how you can edit and get that professional quality sound output in Adobe Audition. Hi guys, I'm your host Shomit Seth and without any further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so once you've recorded your audio on Adobe Audition and you're satisfied with the base audio that you've recorded, then you can start editing it. So as far as my audio editing process is concerned, I do a really basic editing uh, on my audio. I don't go overboard with it. And the process I follow is something that I won't say it's the best or it's a professional audio process, but for me it works. So I do it and uh, i will show you what i do and i will also create a preset for you that you can use uh, on your audio but do uh, keep that in mind that uh, the kind of environment that i am sitting in and i'm recording my uh, uh, voiceovers this environment can be different for everybody uh, you might have a noisy environment you might have a very good environment an ideal environment for recording your audio uh, that can vary but as far as uh, the audio editing process is concerned that will be same so either you can follow me uh, and you can you know make some variations according to your environment in which you're recording or you can directly put that preset on your video it's up to you so first uh, what i usually do is i go to favorites and i go for uh, normalize i usually do it up to minus three decibels but for some situations uh, where the audio recorded is slightly low, the level is really low, I go for 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1 decibels. But for this, since the audio level is fine, it's perfect, I'll be using a normalize of minus 3 decibels. Now let's hear it after putting a normalize. Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Sound plays a very important role in attracting the audience as well as conveying the message. So it looks, it, it sounds pretty good. It's loud, but there is a lot of noise. So for that, I usually go to favorites and I use denoise and it usually removes a fair amount of noise from it. So now that I have applied denoise, let's give it a listen. Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Sound plays a very important role in attracting the audience as well as conveying the message. After putting the denoise, the audio sounds good, but it lacks a little dynamics to it, or I would say it lacks little crispness in the audio. So for that, uh, I usually use an effect which is dynamics uh, and dynamics processing. I usually uh, prefer using dynamics. I usually use a soft clip preset in the dynamics, uh, which makes the audio sound good and I just apply it. Now let's hear the audio ones. Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Sound plays a very important role in attracting the audience as well as conveying the message. Now after applying dynamics, I go for uh, filter and EQ and under that I use parametric equalizer in that I use the vocal enhancer preset which gives a crispness to my audio and makes it sound good as well as I use this same graph for every audio that I record since I'm usually recording in the same environment so this graph works for every audio now you can see that all the uh, frequencies in my audio are somewhere balanced and somewhere equal now let's hear the audio Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Now you can see that there is clarity in the audio, but at some places the audio level is going in red. So that is not good for human ears and it will make the audio sound a little harsh on the ears. So for that, I usually go for uh, amplification. Under that, I use amplify and I usually lower the audio to minus three decibels. 
Now, as you can see that the audios are balanced and limit down to three decibels. And now let's hear the audio. Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Sound plays a very important role in attracting the audience as well as conveying the message. Now, the audio looks perfectly fine, but there is a little noise still present in the audio. So to remove that, I usually uh, use a noise reduction. And as you can see, I usually remove the noise uh, up to 69% and it, I reduce it by 12 decibels. This remains same for every audio for me. So I think this works for every audio. It's fine. These levels are good. And as you can see, this red, this is all noise and this green and yellow, this is your actual sound that will be there after using this preset. So I, let's apply it. Now let's give it a listen. Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Sound plays a very important role in attracting the audience as well as conveying the message. So it becomes very important that the sound that has been recorded is rightly processed. After this, my audio editing process completes and at the end, I usually go for, you know, removing these extra sounds from the beginning and the end. For this, I use silence. Nowadays, sound has become an essential part of any media, whether it's films or YouTube videos. Sound plays a very important role in attracting the audience as well as conveying the message. So it becomes very important that the sound that has been recorded is rightly processed. So in this video, I'll be telling you how you can edit and get that professional quality sound output in Adobe Audition. Hi guys, I'm your host Shomit Said, and without any further ado, let's get started. So yeah, that completes the audio editing process. So guys, I've already created a preset for you all uh, that you can directly apply to your audio files in Adobe Audition. So basically, I have created a multi-track session uh, for you all uh, with the preset. So you just have to open this multi-track session and once you open it, you will find my preset uh, over here and you just have to save this preset uh, and give it a name and now I've just saved this preset and as you can see it will be available in the list so that you can come anytime you want you can record your vocals and you can just apply this preset okay guys with that being said we come to the end of this video so this was my take on sound editing in Adobe Audition I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you have learned something from this video if you have any queries regarding this audio editing process then you can feel free to ask me in the comment section below and i would be happy to answer to all of them also the link for the audio preset would be in the description so you can check it out with that being said if you're new here then do consider hitting the subscribe button and also pressing the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video with that being said this is shomit said signing off peace